Got all our stuff. Here's my videographer. Um, here's the log. It is, well, we haven't measured it yet. The guy told us it's 26 feet long. He tells us it's black oak. Um, it's pretty straight. It's got a curve there at the top, but it's pretty straight. So, uh, and we've got a nice clean shot here too. So I'm going to get it measured out and cut. And I'll cut her in half just to make things easier. That's just about center. Folks, I'm gonna do a little narration right here. Right about this moment, I'm realizing something's not working with my drill and winch. And uh, I'm assuming that there's too much weight. So I'm lowering the lift so that I can reposition the log tongue. So that, uh, thinking that if I pick up just the front, it may reduce the weight a little bit <laughs> and then uh, my drill will be able to handle it. Right here, I did not propel her well and I did not bring a hammer with me. So I had to use a receiver hitch that I had in the back of the truck to uh, seat that log tongue into the log. Now because I'm coming further down on the log, it's uh, having to grip bigger and it doesn't want to grip that well through the bark on the bigger end. So here we go trying to lift again and I'm realizing that it's just not wanting to lift. So frustration is already setting in 
and uh, time to do something different. So right here I'm putting on the hand crank handle which uh, I luckily had kept in the back of the truck. I always, uh, you always want to keep up your secondary option with you in case you have to use it. So, so we can commence to get the rest of the, these two logs picked up and hauled out of there by hand cranking, which is a lot more effort. And uh, you can see I got the log about probably close to a foot off the ground and then my daughter kicks in and and she finishes it, gets it up high enough to where we can do what we need to do there. So it's good to have a second person with you. I brought her to videotape, but sometimes it's nice just to have the extra hand when you need it. And uh, right there I'm realizing that I need to mount my snatch blocks a little different because uh, the cable wasn't running real well there. Put your pen back in. <clears throat> is that on the hole? Mine is. to roll the log over to one side in the hopes of getting both logs on the trailer at the same time. We're getting those banditos. Dos, dos. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the back end picked up and then we'll back over that one. up the second log and that was planned that way it would just still hold that log on there and uh, now we're going to crank this up just high enough so that we can shove the second log up there onto the front brake and so uh, we're not sure exactly how we're going to finish this at this point but uh, we know we got to at least get the front end up there so that's what the goal is Back it up a 
try this at home. <laughs> So we should have took, we should have left the log tongs on there and helped uh, hold that front end up as we yeah. pushed it some more because once we put all the weight on that front um, cross brace, it uh, that log kind of locked in between the two points that stick up on it and it didn't, it didn't want to slide any further. Yeah. scenes you see several different ways and things that we try to do in order to get this log up on there and finally I'm ready to just cut two feet off of the log and make it work and then the neighbor comes to the rescue. Unfortunately we did not record that. folks so like always we miss recording something so we got those up there and right here is how we did it this jack which is called a dead man jack we put it under the end of this log picked it up took the cross beam off and then cranked the, the other log up with the winch Put the cross beam back on, took the jack off, and we're good to go. We're gonna put some chain tie downs on this, some straps, and head out. So we we're just finishing up this log recovery here, and uh, all of my other cameras are dead, so I'm using my phone. So this is what we got. We got. Uh, we snagged two logs. It was a little bit of a goat rope. I'll just be honest. But I learned a lot, and so if you're going to do something, you might as well learn something while you're doing it. So we got two good chains and boomers on there, on each end, and uh, got my trailer lights, and we're all ready to go. So, she should ride good. Those pins are in, front pins are in, yep. It's like ready to go. We're going to go get some lunch now. We're tired exhausted and thirsty. <laughs> <laughs>